This was not supposed to be a party, even if there was music and cake. But this gathering at a park in downtown Regina did mark an anniversary. One organizers say is a failed promise by city council to end homelessness in Regina. A year ago, Regina City Council voted to include a measure in its annual budget that would give an estimate of what it would cost to end homelessness in the city. But when the document was published, the motion wasn't recommended by city administration. Any attempt to get the courts to force a resolution failed. And community organizers say that the homelessness crisis in Regina has only gotten worse since then. That's why organizers marked the occasion, providing food to community members at Pepsi Park in the downtown core. A few hundred people showed up. We've seen it get exponentially worse uh, throughout the city. Any, you, can't, you can't avoid it in the core. There was a conscious choice in that location. It was the site of a former homelessness encampment known as Camp Hope a few years ago. While organizers did plan to stay the night, police and bylaw officials stepped in late on Thursday. So everything was packed up and brought to city council's doorstep. I think that the city needs to look and, and directly, uh, you know, be witness to what's going on. Uh, Pepsi Park is surrounded by a lot of the resources. Same here. We have the wraparound support Y-Dub across the street. But uh, I think that, yeah, part of it is we want, you know, people upstairs to look down and see this is what our neighbors are facing right now. It's a crisis. On Friday morning, organizers were serving breakfast. The city has made it clear they will no longer stand for homelessness encampments being set up in Regina. I believe what we've learned from across the country as well as North America is that uh, while it also, again, encampments are not the solution, um, they also create significant risk to the folks who, um, who stay there uh, once it reaches a, a particular critical mass. But organizers say they won't back down. The end result, a growing tension between what the city says is permitted in public spaces and what organizers say is the right thing to do when governments have abdicated their responsibilities, not just municipally, but provincially and federally as well. They want to see change happen and are willing to take action if no one else does. Alexander Kwan, CBC News, Regina.